It's Halloween. My name is Michael Bracewell, and I'd like to introduce you to the world of the Dark Monarch. The Dark Monarch is an exhibition which takes its title from a notorious book written uh, by Sven Berlin, who was an artist based in, here in St. Ives in Cornwall. We wanted to do an exhibition which was basically about the relationship between British modernism and the supernatural, the magical, the occult, and the paranormal. Paul Nash is a very important artist in this exhibition. He was one of the neo-romantic group of artists who were a loose-knit group of British artists working between the mid-1930s and the mid-1950s. And one of the things Paul Nash did was he took photographs out in the landscape of strange natural phenomena, fallen trees, boulder formations, that kind of thing. Um, and he used to look at these in relation to surrealism, for instance, about how could a natural object have uh, what he would call, you know, uh, the, the, the animate within the inanimate. One of the things that Claire Woods is interested in getting into her painting is to find these kind of strange rural backwaters, these places of kind of undergrowth and overgrowth, the sort of marginal, odd little edges of the countryside, probably exactly the sort of countryside that you might find in the contemporary landscape near a motorway or something, but still with this very, very heightened atmosphere and this sense that the line between the natural world and the supernatural world is actually quite fine. The film behind me is by Derek Jarman and was made in 1975. Um, Jarman is an absolutely pivotal figure in The Dark Monarch as an exhibition. And he saw film and photography very much as a form of magic. He saw the relationship between light and glass and film as being an alchemical process, an alchemical transaction. This film is particularly relevant to us, not just because it's extremely beautiful, but because it introduces all kinds of themes. I mean, you'll see that this is to do with, with flashing lights, these elegant, processional, rather ceremonial people who seem to be involved in some curious ritual which is halfway between a kind of fashion shoot and Morse code. One of the things which the Dark Monarch is attempting to do as an exhibition is to consider a very specific period within British culture between 1910 and 2009. If you think about that century, you almost immediately associate it with the development of new technologies, with acceleration, with mass media, with mass production. What we were interested in doing was tracking the shadow of that century. And in some ways, this is a Gothic enterprise. However much technology develops, however much science makes things explicable, there will always be an aspect within art making that wants to look at the mysterious, the enigmatic, that which cannot be explained. <laughs> 